A couple of days ago, everybody's favorite actress, Rachel Zegler, addressed the rumors that she was removed from Snow White, which I don't know how that became as big as it did. I did a video on the subject and said there's no way that's true. It's impossible to get rid of her when it comes to Snow White. The movie has already been filmed. (laughs) The movie has already been filmed. It's going to come out. It will likely come out this year at whatever date they have set for it. And it's going to be hilarious when it comes out because it has a massive budget. And I don't think a lot of people are going to want to watch this. But uh, she shared this on social media as of September 26th. The rumors are true. I am three apples tall. Now, she's not allowed to speak on anything because of the strikes. At this time, at least, I don't know if she can talk now that the writer strike is over. She's not a writer; she's an actor, so I don't know if she can still if she's still not allowed to talk about stuff. But uh, this is her obviously saying that you know it's bullshit. She hasn't been fired. She was fired from that Paddington. Well, I don't even know if you can say she's been fired. I think she was just replaced from that Paddington movie, which is good news for that movie, by the way. I don't think she brings any star project, like star power to a project. She's only been in two movies, and they were both a financial wreck. She's never been a big draw. She, she hasn't been in anything. So, if anything, I think all she brings to a role now is controversy. And she's at it again. She's out there defending Taylor Swift. Uh, I almost made a video on this yesterday. She... <laughs> she was at some NFL game because she's dating some guy in the NFL now. And the entire stadium booed her when they played the advertisement for her upcoming concert movie, which is probably going to do very well at the theaters. It's it's crazy. She's huge. Uh, biggest pop star in the world right now, Taylor Swift. And when you're on top, People make jokes at your expense. Uh, Barstool Sports did a podcast laughing about her and the NFL situation, and a lot of people were upset about that. Leave Taylor Swift alone. Uh, But one guy said uh, that he's going to need to see the sex tape between Taylor Swift and that dude she's dating. And this, of course, caused... Rachel Zegler, to have a complete meltdown. We're sick and tired. It's never been funny. So let me play you what this guy said here, and then we'll go over uh, Rachel Zegler's soapbox posting. So let's just play this real quick. You know what? All right, I'll say this. If Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift release a sex video, I'll consummate this <laughs> this uh, relationship and be like, fine. Now, there's a little bit more to it, since this is a one-minute video, but I think you get the gist of it on that. It goes in a little bit more <laughs> more graphic detail on what he wants to see in the tape. But, I mean, it's, it is it is just a joke, rather a crude joke, but it's just a joke. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really care. Who cares? Just ignore it if you don't like it. But Rachel Zegler... She, her, hers, of course, did not like this. She goes on to say, It's not news that the media is particularly cruel to Taylor Swift, but the way men feel entitled to speak about women, their bodies, and their sex lives needs to be seriously evaluated. You never, you will never see people speaking this way about a man that goes for a lot of different scenarios. We do not pick apart men's attitudes and relationships the way we do women's. And it's not always men who speak this way about us. Women can and do too. It sucks. Leave Taylor Swift alone. Seeing a lot of it's a joke. But you've got to understand that since the beginning of time, you can't take a joke that has been synonymous with, let me say, 
horrible things about women without suffering the consequences. We're sick and tired. It's never been funny. Get a life. <laughs> kind of a little bit of a meltdown for Ziggler here. Uh, it is just a joke. And who cares? A lot of people making jokes. The, the only reason that people are blowing this up is because she has a massive fan base. They will probably downvote this video, even though it barely has anything to do with Taylor Swift. It's more about Rachel Ziegler, who does not have defenders. But her fan base is very tiny. I know. Weird. Weird. Right, Rachel? Very weird. Uh, I can't wait for the strike to be over so Rachel can be more unfiltered. Uh, we got to get her out there leaving comments on everything. Uh, I love it. Love seeing her hot takes. Uh, I wish she would have a hot take every day. Uh, she's she At this point, she's dethroned Brie Larson. Probably it's a most, most annoying actress in Hollywood. And I think it's going to get worse. Because she's just getting started, baby. She's just getting started. She has she has years to go. Now, Brie Larson, her career is winding down. She's like 34 years old now. Uh, Rachel Ziegler, she's still a young pup. I don't even think she's, what, 21, 23? She's, she's got plenty of years left in the spotlight, so... I am looking forward to financial box office disaster after disaster as she ruins every movie that she's in. A Snow White is going to be a glorious dumpster fire. Uh, the meltdowns that she'll have when that fail I guarantee she'll be blaming men, racisms, all that shit when that movie fails. It's going to be gr- it's going to be glorious. You thought Brie Larson was bad. Brie Larson 2.0 here is going to is going to make everybody's jaw drop <laughs> when the time comes. Uh, but I'm looking forward to her tweeting more. That's coming up soon. Definitely liking these hot Zegler she, her, hers takes. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.